Lord, I thank you for this offering. A blessing to the camp. Yes. Bless those who have given tonight, Lord. Bless them with many, many things, Lord. Let their hearts this weekend be filled with joy. Let them lift up your name in glorious praise. This weekend, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Amen. Many a day, many a night, I've gone before the Lord and cried out to Him, when, Lord, when, when, before we open up the camp again. It has been heavy on my heart. I thought Easter, but the Lord said, wait. I said, Memorial Weekend, Lord, Memorial Weekend. We need to open the camp. There are so many needs. And he said, yes, Memorial Weekend. Open it up. He says, I have many blessings for those that have been called. He has called many to come this weekend. And those that have come, you're going to see changes in your life. You're going to see cleansing in your life. You're going to see the Lord work in you like He has never worked before. You're going to be lifted up higher into His Spirit. Those of you that are here tonight are here because you have longed for the Spirit of the Lord and can't play Hamilton. I say to you, confess any sin in your life, any hidden sins, anything that you think, well, I just got to hang on to that. Confess them and let them go. And the key too is forgive those who have done harm to you. Forgive them. Forgive them. And let the Lord work in your life tonight and this, this weekend. There are many things happening across this nation. Washington is in disarray. Mass confusion. Children murdered in their school. The enemy is on a rampage. Because he knows that 2022 is a year of change. The Lord has said, I have called many. I have called and I have called and I have called. And you were not turned. You've used my name for your own glory. The Lord says, I will no longer bless those who do not follow me. The lukewarm, he said, I'll spit you out of, this, out of my mouth. He says, make yourself ready this weekend. Cleanse yourselves. Listen to the ministers that have come this weekend. Keep yourselves ready. Like the ten virgins. Don't be like the five that were left behind, but be like the five that were ready when the bride the groom came. So those days are short right now of his coming. 
Matthew, I think, 24, he spoke of this generation that we're living in right now. He's coming and he's going to turn, he's going to turn this country and his church back to him. It's coming this year and by 2024, he's going to have this nation changed. America is his and he will not give it up. He will not give it up. America is his. Demons across this nation are running in fear. They know they only have a certain time left. The prophecies that have come out of different prophets across this nation, they hear them. They know what they say. They know what they're saying that's coming. Like Paul said, we prophesy in part. Or we see through a glass half full. But we know that the Lord is true to his word when he says, I am going to come and I am going to change America back to him. So give thanks and, and glory to the Lord of Most High. Thank him. Give him a praise offering right now. Praise him. It is good to be here tonight. I thank God for his loving kindness and his tender mercy. We want to welcome all of you here tonight. First of all, how many of you are here for the first time? Oh, my God. God bless you. And we welcome you on behalf of Lake Hamilton Bible Camp, Brother Merle Miller tonight. We thank God for you. Before I go into the message tonight, I do want to just say just a little bit, um, I guess you would say housekeeping, would that be right? <laughs> um, I don't know if everyone got the handout when you signed in. No? Okay. Well, uh, just a, a few things here. Um, we do, we will have breakfast tomorrow in Sunday, uh, Friday, Saturday, not Sunday. Okay. Um, breakfast time is from 8 to 8.45. Lunch is from 12 to 12.45, and then dinner is from 5 to 5.45. Right. And we will have early morning prayer beginning in the morning at 6 a.m. Now we have a prayer team here. And what we want to do is ask those of you that have come for this weekend to allow the prayer team to minister to you. When you're not to minister to anyone outside of the services, you're not to give a word. If you have something that you feel the Lord has put on your heart, we're going to ask you to go to Brother Merle. He is the leader here, and we believe in keeping order. 
Amen. All right. Now, just for those of you that have never come, I want to ask the prayer team to stand. These men and women of God are seasoned, along with myself, they're seasoned men and women of God. You can also go to any one of them. If you feel you have a word from the Lord, go to a senior leader. Do not take it upon yourself to minister because it can cause confusion. Come on, amen. We know that the Lord loves each and every one of us, and the prophetic may get to stirring in you, but how many of you know the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet? That's right. Amen. So we want to do things decent and in order. No laying hands, no praying for people in the, in the you know, fellowship. Come on. I, I just felt to do this because we're shutting the devil out before he tried to come in. Amen. We have, we have been two years to get back here. And I believe that there's going to be a mighty move of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We've been through some valleys and peaks and ups and downs. And there are some that are no longer with us. But how many of you know Jesus is still here? Amen. Amen. So, amen. We wanted to say that God bless you, uh, prayer team. Amen. And um, so in the morning at 6 a.m., if you want prayer, one-on-one -on -one prayer, come to the prayer time and you'll get ministered to. Matter of fact, come every time. Yeah, Amen. Right. And then it will change you. Praise the Lord. I remember when I first came, I heard Mom Jerry say, if you keep coming, by the end of the year you won't be the same. And it's so true. Praise the Lord. I, I put her to the test. <laughs> Amen. And I can tell you I'm not the same, but I need more too. Yeah. Come on. We all do. Amen. 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 So we thank God for that. Now, lights are to be out about 10 a.m. If you're in your room, please be quiet, you know. No no, no group Bible studies, no none of that, all right? Just, just let the Lord minister to you. After you receive the word, the good thing about God, the presence of God moves. Sometimes he just wants to minister to you, and if you just get in his presence and let him finish, he'll do a complete work in you. Is that good tonight? Okay. So... Please do not stay in the dorm rooms while services are in session. You're here for camp meeting, yeah. all right? Okay. Everyone is expected to be in services. Uh, children are to be here as well. All of that right here in the main sanctuary. There cannot be any electrical appliances like coffee pots, hot plates, all this stuff in your rooms. Please don't eat in your rooms because we don't want bugs up in there, okay? So just giving you just some little guidelines because we, we're going to move after this. Amen. Okay. Be discreet. And even in colognes, perfume, some people may be a little allergic, so just kind of use this and with that. Uh, no pets in private rooms, dorms, or loose on the ground. No smoking in the buildings or near the exits. Okay? All right. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, you can read this. If you have any questions, please see Brother Merle or one of the staff uh, here. Okay? All right. Praise the Lord. I want to say again, I'm very honored to be here, and um, we thank God for what he's doing. As I was given instruction on that I would open up tonight, I began to ask the Lord right away what to share, and Brother Merle really confirmed it. The title of the message tonight is, Let the Fire Burn. Amen. I'm not going to teach a deliverance message tonight because the Lord didn't give it to me that way but we're going to get delivered and healed. Amen. 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 God's going to do what he wants to do. But how many of you know we do need God's fire? Yeah. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come yeah. on. And uh, earlier I got a message. Someone had a dream. and We want to pray to cover the grounds tonight. We want to pray protection because there has been a spirit of violence unleashed over America. The Lord told me about three, four weeks ago as I was praying, I saw blood running through the streets of America. And the Lord said there is a spirit of murder and violence, and you can see it with the children getting killed in schools and shot up. We have to pray. So I'm going to ask you all to, to stand with me tonight as we begin to go into prayer. We want to pray for America. We want to pray that the Lord will touch, and even us, that no enemy 
will come in here with no gun. Come on. No weapon. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Merle just said we are warriors and we came, amen, on assignment. And the Spirit of God will protect us. Come on, somebody. Amen. We're not afraid. Come on here. We're not intimidated by the enemy. Amen. Because we serve Jesus Christ, the righteous. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's more than the world against us on tonight. So, Father, we want to thank you right now for allowing us to be here. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us and watching over us. We thank you for covering these grounds tonight. We thank you that the angels of the Lord are stationed on every corner in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and no demonic force can enter these grounds that would want to cause harm, hurt, or danger in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we bind the enemy now in Jesus' name. We chain, gag, and muzzle the enemy right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, that even on tonight, hallelujah, you have come to do us good. And we thank you for it. We praise you right now. We thank you for your protective hand. Now, Lord, as we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus, we release the fire of the Lord over this region. Let the fire of God be released in our lives and over us, oh God. Release hot thunderbolts against the enemy and scatter the enemies of the Lord. Let the works of witchcraft and occultism, witchcraft and divination be burned up in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, that the fire of the Lord is in our tongue. Let the fire of intercession and deliverance never go out. I will say, make cool the almost of a heart. We rebuke and bind all witchcraft, lust and seduction, intimidation, idolatry and false prophets, false witnesses in Jesus' name. We cut off and break the powers of every negative word, every lie released to bring destruction to the move of God in the name of Jesus. We lose confusion into Satan's camp. Let them be scattered that rise against us. We declare tonight that no weapon formed shall prosper and the gates of hell will not prevail against this meeting or against the divine mandate that God has placed upon this camp meeting. In Jesus' name, we break and declare the secret counsel of the wicked. In Jesus' name, let them be exposed. And God, we come against all false prayer movements, all demonic confederacies shall be exposed and expelled in Jesus' name. We quench the fiery darts of the enemy that he sends our way with the shield of faith. We overcome tonight by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We declare, let your kingdom come, O God, and your will be done in this region and over our lives in the name of Jesus. Let the gates of this region and city be open for the King of glory to come in. And Father, I ask you, Lord, to minister special to each and every one. You know, God, the things that are on our heart. And Father, I pray that we will be pliable and open. Whatever you want to do in this place, we give it over to you, God, in Jesus' name. We break all blood sacrifices that have been set against us, and we declare victory over these demonic blood sacrifices in Jesus' name. And I bind Satanism, I bind occultism, yes. I bind witches and warlocks. Yes. We close the third eye of every medium in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you, Lord God, that the angels are fighting on our behalf tonight. And we thank you for freedom, we thank you for liberty in the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, that your perfect, complete, and whole will will be done in Jesus' name. So let the angels of the Lord chase and persecute the enemy. Let the angels of the Lord go before and make every crooked place straight. Send your angels to minister on our behalf, God, and fight for us in Jesus' name. Let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. Let the body of Christ arise and be matured, united, and walk in greater dominion and power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. 
amen and amen. Clap them hands and pray for them. You may be seated in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let the fire burn. I want to begin by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. If you have your Bibles, you can follow along with us. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Leviticus 6 and 13 says, the fire shall be burning continually upon the altar. It shall not go out. Now, when we talk about fire, there are different types of fire, but the fire I want to talk about tonight really <coughs> is God burning in our lives. And when the Holy Ghost, we're baptizing the Holy Spirit, he comes in with fire. And that fire purifies us, cleanses us. And it, it really helps us in our walk with God. So we must keep our lives stoked in prayer. This means that the more wood you place in the fire, the more it will burn. And wood really represents our humanity and flesh. Flesh stinks in the nostril of God. He doesn't like our carnal ways. He doesn't like our fleshy ways. Come on. Amen. So really to live with God, you must die. The Bible says that if you crucify the flesh, you live in the spirit, walk in the spirit, come on, dwell in the spirit. And God wants us to abide in him. And the only way to do that is to continually surrender your all to Jesus. Give everything over to him, my God, tonight. Hallelujah. You know these two years... It has not been a negative for me. It has been a positive. <coughs> because sometimes it takes God sitting us down to stand us up. And I, you know, I know there's a lot about COVID and all that. I'm not here to, to teach all that stuff. I'm here to just say that I thank God for what he's done for me. I thank God that as I can look, Brother Merle, over the two years, that we're closer to Jesus tonight than we've ever been before. That I'm getting to know him in a way that I've never known the Lord. And sometimes it might take him pulling some things away and pulling us close to him. And, you know, all of the separation was not, for me it wasn't a bad thing because it really taught me the importance of staying in the presence of God. And so wanting God's fire in my life, it, it, it takes me, uh, and it'll take you, selling out everything to Jesus Christ. Demons don't have to be on your back so hard that all you're doing is talking about demons. Now, I hope I don't step on somebody's toes tonight. Amen. We are to be, the devil should be on the run. Amen. The devil should be on the run. It shouldn't be the other way around. Amen. We should be on the offensive. So as we are here this weekend to get free, recognize that if you have sin in your life, then you have an open door and access to the enemy, and he has a right to come to that territory. So what we have to learn to do is close the doors to the enemy and put him on the run. We should be on the offensive, am I right, Brother Randy? Many times we live in defeat because everything's the devil. He's after me. I, I heard someone say that yesterday, and I don't mean to offend, but if he's after you, you better make sure why. How come? If you have a tracker, find out why. Do you have a beeper on you? You know what the beeper is? Oh, I wish I had church today. It's sin. It's something that can is a magnet that draws the enemy to you. And you got to get rid of it. Now if he's tracking you because you're doing something right, that's still a different story. Come on here. 
Glory to God. You want the fire of God to burn down in you. Yes. Come on now. Some people literally live in fear of demons. And that's not why we're here. No. We're here to get strong in God. Amen. To be good warriors for him. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let me go. I'm not used to using this computer, so. Okay. <laughs> we are the temple of God because the Holy Ghost resides in us. As such, God require, requires us to live holy lives. And there's no excuse for living any other way than holy. As such, we should strive to get closer to the Lord. And he will continually purify and cleanse you in order that you meet or are meet for the master's use. Now what's holiness? Holiness is moral and ethical wholeness. Perfection, that means completing. Now this perfection is not that you do everything so perfect. That means that you're maturing and you're growing up and you're not doing the things you did two years ago. Come on, if you were whining two years ago, you ain't got no business whining now. You had a pacifier where you need to throw it in the trash. Come on here. Amen. You were being petted, amen, but you, you shouldn't be stroked tonight. Come on. Glory to God, because you're stroking demons is what you're doing. And now we don't have time to pet your demons. Come on here. Amen. We didn't come to play with you. When you come up here to get prayer, be serious, be ready. Come on. And you can get rid of it. Come on here. And you can go home another way. Amen. Amen. We don't mind working with you. Come on. Amen. But I'm not going to pull a tug. And I don't think anyone on the team is going to pull a tug on you now. Okay, I'm not trying to speak for anybody. I'm just, I'm just saying. Let the fire burn tonight. Let God begin to stir you. Stoke the fire that's in you. Okay. Now God gave Moses a commission to construct the tabernacle. And this was in the Old Testament. And it was what God wanted was a place for his people to dwell. To come before him. Now we're in the New Testament now. We got the Holy Ghost on the inside of us. We have so much more than they, than they had. Because when you get saved. Holy Ghost come in. You get baptized in the Holy Spirit. That's another level. Come on. And you can grow every day in God. The more you pray in the Spirit, the better you'll become. Okay. Hallelujah. Not going to be long tonight, I promise you that. Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not high priests, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was at all points tempted like as we, yet without sin. God understands everything that we'll ever go through. Wherever you are right now, God does understand it. But he wants to bring us out. Up and out. Okay. So when you hear, uh, come on, let it go. Then just let it go. Cough it up. Sneeze it up. Come on, cry it out. Get rid of the enemy, okay? Sin must be dealt with first. God provided the altar in order for man to be able to proceed to the holy place. Now, just as we come and we're praying, you're coming before the Lord. We're just here to help you. We're here to guide you and give you what, whatever the Lord gives us to help pray you through. Yes. And isn't it good that God sends people to help us? I'm thankful. Uh, Mom, Jerry, you know, the first persons that helped me, prayed me through. I was in a session for about four hours. And those precious women took time to call out that mess and junk. Come on. Come on now. And sometimes we don't want to look at ourselves in that way. But when you're serious about God, he'll get to the root of the problem. And you get to the root, you get it out, you get filled with the Holy Ghost, and you go on. And those things I got delivered from, I ain't seen them no more. I wish I had a church tonight. Hallelujah, because the Bible says, he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Clap them hands right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. So we are to be living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. Christ has ministered to us the initial cleansing. It is our responsibility to maintain that daily cleansing by exposing ourselves to the word. And when we, when we minister, amen, that cleansing water to one another in Christ Jesus with humility, God does the work that needs to be done. Amen. amen. Okay. Hallelujah. And I'm going to give you some prayer principles. Number one, we must be persistent. And sometimes you may have some issues and things in your life that seem like it just won't go nowhere. Be persistent. Keep on coming. Persistence is wrestling with God for victory. I think Jacob did that. He wrestled all night long with an angel. He said, I ain't leaving to you blessed. I'm not going to leave this spot, God, until I know it's finished. Ain't going nowhere. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Persistence also involves travailing in order to bring forth. Persistence is a forward motion. In order to see victory, you must be determined to persist through opposition, resistance, and hindrances. Okay? The Bible talks about in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, that we should pray without ceasing. That means to pray on every occasion and every opportunity. I love it when people, when I say pray for me and they stop and pray. Right then. Right right then. Come on. Because sometimes you'll forget. You know what I'm saying? And you oh, I'll pray for you. And you go down the street and you don't forget about boo-boo to ask you to pray. But if you could just stop right there, because you never know what God will do. You never know what he might want to say. Isn't that right, brother? Praise God. So every opportunity you get, pray. That's fire. That's the fire of God burning. Come on. You want to keep these prayer wheels turning. And I'm learning, brother, to stay in a, in, a, in a mold of prayer. You can stay there. Not just when you come to church. Not just when you get on the prayer call and you got to be called on to pray. Come on. But every day of the world, yes. you keep an attitude yes. of prayer. Yes. Keep that attitude. And you do it by soaking yourself in the word of God. By, by meditating on his word day and night. Let it be your necessary food. Okay? Then you must uh, confess. That means a prayer of confession. Through confession, we cleanse our soul and body of sin. To confess means to come clean with the intent to repent for cleansing, healing, and deliverance. Okay? So Psalm 51 and 1 says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgression. And when they're blotted out, you don't see them anymore. Glory to God. Now, folks may bring it up to you, but God won't do it. Amen. When you know you're clean, you just wash that stuff off. Okay? Let me go. We need to thank the Lord. Thanksgiving reveals a deep appreciation for God. Psalms 107 and 1 says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. I thank God for his mercy because it's God's unmerited favor. His favor that's extended to us that we do not deserve. But God gives it to us because he loves us. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm going to talk one more, one more thing here and I'm going to move about worship. True worship will usher in the presence of God. I really appreciate those songs tonight because when you, when you allow the Lord to come in really and really just dwell. You know, there are a lot of times, uh, Brother Randy, God want to do so much for us, but we, we stop. We stop too short. You know what I'm saying? We've all been in services where the Spirit of God begin to move, and we kind of back off, you know, and when you do that well, then he'll kind of just wane. But sometimes he wants to hover and tabernacle. He wants his glory to come in. 
And when you can allow the glory of God to come in, just let him come in and worship and praise the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Freedom comes and it's not hard then to receive the word of God. But a lot of times it takes two or three days. By the time we get to Sunday, uh, it'll be we'll be free. Because but we gotta plow up. Y'all gotta look. Y'all looking at me. Some of y'all sleepy. You're tired, and I understand it. But do you not know that this is why we're here? Yes. Yes. Amen. So I didn't come just to you know just just to waste my time. I came because I come to deliver the word of God. Come on now. Amen. And sometimes the first night is tough. You got to look at everybody and, you know, uh, what is she saying and what is he saying and this is the first time I'm here. You know, just shake all that stuff off and let the Lord have his way. You know, brother, as I was sitting right there, you right here, I was sitting there and the Lord spoke to me about you. God loves you. You've been through some things in your, your, your I want to say, right now your self-esteem is a little low. But God told me to tell you, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. He has a place for you. And he loves you with an everlasting love. And he doesn't look at you even the way you look at yourself. And God's going to begin to do some things down in you. There is a fire way down in your belly. But because of guilt, shame, condemnation, you have kind of sat down. But God is going to raise you up. Hallelujah. You, Glory to God. You be in prayer. The Lord loves you. And he gave me this statement. He loves you and he cares about you. And he has your best interest at heart. And the Lord is going to work all things out for you because he loves you and he cares. Hallelujah. Spirit, soul, and body. God's going to put your life back together again. Hallelujah. It took a lot for you to get here, but you're here. You pressed your way through tears, through sadness, but you're here. And I come to let you know God is going to do a great work in you, so you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let me finish. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Let the fire burn. On the day of Pentecost, there were 120 people in the upper room waiting for the promise of the Holy Ghost. Jesus gave instructions for the apostles to go there because they needed to be endued with power from on high. The Lord continues to pour out his spirit on all flesh. Sons and daughters are proclaiming the word of the Lord. Young men are dreaming dreams and old men are seeing visions from the Lord. The handmaids continue to rise and proclaim the word of the Lord. Signs, wonders, and miracles are being performed. Demons are being cast out. The sick are healed. And the dead are being brought back to life. When you are determined to allow the word of the Lord to become active in your life, Jesus does exactly what he has said he would do. You are to be witnesses of Jesus, lifting him high, declaring his name throughout the earth. When faith arises in the hearts of God's people, the glory of the Lord is revealed and he manifests himself by meeting the need of those who seek him. Let the fire burn so that God can get the glory out of your life. God declares that in the last days, he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Don't miss your hour of visitation from the Lord. Let the fire of God burn in your life so that men will see your good works and glorify the Father who is in heaven. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. Beloved, let the fire of God burn in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, oh, shame. They call. They may say. I want to leave this word with you from the Lord. God says, I'm about to send my fire of purification through the land. Many lives will be changed by my power. My fire comes to purify, cleanse, yes. and judge. Allow my word to burn in and go into the areas that I desire to enter. Yes. As you do this, 
you will begin to experience my presence and you will get to know me, hallelujah, in a way that you've never known me before. Hallelujah. I will reveal myself to those who will lay on the altar of sacrifice. My fire will go in to burn out the dross and burn in my presence and my aroma, says the Lord. For as my presence remains in you, I will be manifested in the earth. I'm calling for a body of people who will not resist my working in their lives. I want to tell you something, that when we resist God and when we have stubborn walls up, God cannot go in. He will never force himself on you. Glory to God. So we can either receive from him or say no. One of the things I do love about God is that he will never force himself on you. But I can tell you this, beloved, you can have all of God that you want. Oh, yes, you can. You can go as deep as you desire with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God says, I'm looking for those who will sacrifice their all in order that my will may be done in the earth. I'm sending a fire throughout the land that will cause many lives to be changed. And as my people go forth in complete obedience to my word, I'm looking for those who will dare to believe my word, walk in it. Learn to walk in God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the season where you will see many stand and stand bold. Proclaim my word. You will see signs, wonders, and miracles performed. As you lean and depend on me, my perfect will will be done, says the Lord God. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. We love you tonight, Father. I thank you for your word, God. I thank you, Lord, that you have come this weekend to do us good. Now, Lord, we thank you for your word tonight. We ask that you bring cleansing from all sin. Cleanse us, O oh God, from everything that would hinder us from receiving your word this weekend. Lord God, I thank you for the laborers that will go forth on this weekend. I thank you for every speaker. I ask you, Lord, to let the fire of God burn in this place. I ask you, Lord, that as we move forward, that, God, there will be a gushing, there will be a shaking, oh God, in our spirit and in our soul, in our mind and in our heart. I pray, dear Lord, that you would pull down every stronghold in Jesus' mighty name. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us of all sin anywhere where we've offended or hurt. Oh, God, even your heart. We pray now, God, that as you begin to open up the deep areas, that, Father, we would open up as well. And, Lord God, where we've been hurt and wounded, I pray, God, God, that you would go down into the lives of your men servants, uh, maid servants, oh God, and you bring healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, bring deliverance and healing in our lives as we listen to your word. Help us to be open to receive from you, dear Lord. We bind the enemy from distraction. We put a halt to every onslaught attack in the name of Jesus. We choose to close the door to the enemy in Jesus' name. And we choose to exalt you, dear Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Jesus, that you died, that we might be free from all bondage that the enemy would attempt to entangle us in. Thank you, Lord, that as we allow the fire of God to go into our lives, the Holy Spirit will do a new and a fresh work in us. We take authority over depression and oppression, seduction, lying spirits, spirits of error in Jesus' name. We bind and rebuke all infirmities and spirits of jealousy, anger, rage, hatred, murder, and violence. We bind the deaf and dumb spirit that keeps us from hearing the truth of your word, the light of your word, and the life of your word. We bind every strong man, perversion, bondage, fear, jealousy, 
divination, familiar spirits, the Antichrist spirit, and the deaf spirit in Jesus' name. Help us, O oh God, to walk in freedom and liberty that you give us and help us to abide in your word daily in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you heal our land of the bloodshed, yes. violence, and murder yes. that's running in our land. Yes. Forgive us, O oh God. O oh God, for all the innocent blood that's running down the streets of America. Yes. Lord, we take responsibility as a church yes. for the lack of prayer, for the lack of sensitivity. Yes. Father God, we ask God that you would help us, pull us together. Pull us together, O oh God, the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, you see the division. You see everything that's gone on. But I ask you, Lord, to do a work in us. In Jesus' name. Bring us, O oh God, together. Pull down division and discord. Hatred and racism that has controlled our land for so long. Help us to walk in unity and strength as your word declares. Help us to love and forgive according to your word. We ask you, Lord, to lead, guide, and direct us as we continue to move through this camp meeting in Jesus' name. We ask, oh God, that your will be done. Oh God, touch and minister for the glory and honor of God. We thank you, Lord God, for changed lives forever by the power of the Holy Ghost. And Lord God, I ask that you minister to each and every one as they go and rest tonight. I ask you to touch Brother Merle right now in Jesus' name. We pray strength for the man of God. We thank you, Lord, for giving him strength to travel over these miles. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord God, for keeping him strong. I thank you, Lord, for holding him up these two years. We thank Thank you for the intersection. God, as he's labored, God, as he's labored in prayer, day after day, week after week, month after month, you have held him up. And we ask you, Lord, to minister to him now. We ask you to pour into him right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the enemy that will want to drain his spirit in Jesus' name. I come against the vampire spirit right now. I come against the drainer right now in the the mighty name of Jesus. And God, I thank you for strengthening him. I thank you, Lord, that as he rests tonight, his sleep will be sweet in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, we thank you now for taking care of everything that's on his heart. We thank you right now. We bind every evil work of the enemy that would try to come at him in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Lord God. We give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory. Touch him now Father, touch him now in the new son. E kundi abo sukuda basata. E ko te la bose. Me ko le me se. Le ko ni amasata. E namasata. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for every dream. We thank you for every vision. We thank you for every word that you have put down in his belly. And God, we ask you to continue to put running in his feet. In Jesus' name. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, clap them hands and praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm almost finished. But I want to pray for those that have heart issues. If you've had a physical condition with your heart, and you don't mind coming up here, if you've had a physical condition, or have, can you come now? Hallelujah. 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 Brother Randy and uh, uh, Brother Kerna, can you both come and help me? Hallelujah. Anybody else? Hallelujah. Sister Jean, can you come stand with me? Hallelujah. Now I'm going to tell you why I'm asking that. The Lord told me, you know, sometimes you, you got to pray for others when you're going through something. I have a serious condition, but I know God is going to heal me. I know it. I know it, Sister Jean. I had to press even tonight. Come on, somebody. But I know God to be a healer. I know him to be a deliverer. And there's nothing that God cannot do for you. He's going to heal you. The pressure in your heart. 
tightness in your chest. Can somebody come stand? Touch him now. I come against the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Touch, yes, touch, touch. Touch him now. Come against every generational curse of sickness and disease. Touch him now. That's it. Come on. Come on. Give him breakthrough. Come on. Come on. Minister to him, God. By the power of God. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Thank you for strengthening his heart and regulating the heartbeat in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. All where there's pain, touch him now. In Jesus' name. come against the spirit of fear right now. You will not die before the time. I come against premature death. Touch her right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Touch her now, Father. Touch her now. Touch her now. Touch her now, Father. This murmur. Heal her body. Heal her body. In the mighty name of Jesus. All infirmity. Come on. Come on. Minister to her now, right now. Come on, it's okay. In the brokenness, heal her. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you for healing tonight. Thank you, God, that you speak, that you know what to do, and you know how to do it. You don't make no mistakes. Touch her now. In Jesus' name, give it over to the Lord. He knows how to make you everywhere whole. And Jesus came to set you free. Yeah, in Jesus' name. And we thank you for doing it tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. him right now and minister. Make him every with whole. Get down in those valves in Jesus' name. Clean out those arteries, Father God. Keep them clear in Jesus' name. And we thank you now. We praise you right now for victory. Victory is his. Victory is his on tonight. And we thank you for it, God. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful name we pray. Hallelujah. Yes, all of it go. In Jesus' name. Come on out of here right now. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
held him up and are holding him up and I thank you for holding tonight. I thank you for healing because healing is truly the children's bread. Touch him right now. By the, oh, there it is. Yeah. New life right now. Down in that heart. All in those arteries. All in the valves. In the name of Jesus. They'll work properly. Look at the valve. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. In Jesus mighty name. Recreate a miracle God. Recreative oh. miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you. Hallelujah. We give you praise for it. And we give you glory. And we give you the other. Yes, God. Thank you for what you're doing for him. Thank you for strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it now. Refreshing touch and your healing. Yes, God, because it is His portion. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. 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 and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Make him every with hope. Come on. Come on. In Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Give him a touch tonight. Oh, bullshit. Mata. Shata. Come on. bless you tonight and keep you. I pray the, the Lord make his face shine upon you and lift up his countenance upon you. I pray that your sleep is sweet tonight. Amen. That you wake up refreshed. We'll be here in the morning. Amen. 
uh, at 6 a.m. for prayer. God bless you tonight.